Hello and welcome to Lightworks. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at plugging in Blackmagic's Fusion compositing software to Lightworks. To plug Fusion into Lightworks you'll need a pro license. Licenses are available at the Lightworks shop lwks.com slash shop. First of all head to blackmagicdesign.com slash products slash fusion. Hit the download button. Fill in the registration form. It's only available on Windows currently. Once the download is complete, unzip the installer and run it. And that's done. So Fusion is now installed. Here we are in Lightworks. Let's bring up the Lightworks effects panel. Now if you look in the category section, you'll find an entry for Fusion. Well, let's drop the effect on this clip. Before we launch Fusion and get going, let's have a look at what we're actually going to do. Now in our original shot on the right hand side here, we've got the snowboarder with the sun behind him going down the mountain. That's quite an unstable shot. What I want to do is actually add a more detailed lens flare. You can see there's some elements of a lens flare coming through from the sun into the lens being generated already on the shot. But because the shot's quite wobbly, what we're going to do is attach the lens flare position to the center of the sun. And we're going to do that with the Fusion Pixel Tracker. So if you look in the result shot on the left hand side, as the shot moves along, the lens flare will follow the sun and react accordingly. What we're also going to do is drop in a bit of graphics with Fusion as an extra effects layer. We've just got a simple graphic with a bit of scrolling text in the bottom. OK, well let's get going. We've already applied the effect to the clip. I'm just going to open up the effects settings panel and launch Fusion. When you arrive at the Fusion interface, it will be quite sparsely populated because there's not really anything going on currently. But there is a couple of nodes already in the software. So we've got our input clip, we're going to put some effects in this section, and then it's all going to go back to Lightworks as a render file to be replaced back into the timeline. Left and right, we've got two viewer windows. Let's get a picture up on one of the viewers. To load the effects status at a node position, you can just pick up the node and drag and drop it to a viewer. The frame will be displayed as full size, but you can just press the fit button to fit it to the viewer. Another way to display the effect status at a particular node, if you hover over a node, you've got two little dots at the bottom of the node. This represents you can preview on the left-hand monitor or the right-hand monitor. So if I click the right-hand button here, what's going to go back to Lightworks will be displayed on the right-hand monitor. Hit the Fit button again. And as I said, currently they are identical because we haven't added any effects. Well, let's get some effects in. First of all, we're going to deal with the lens flare and we're going to track the motion of the sun through the shot. I'm just going to unload the left-hand viewer so we can concentrate on one viewer only. So we're going to track the center of the sun throughout the shot. Now, if we just right-click on the input node, insert the tracker, the pixel tracker comes on the screen. Here's the setup for the tracker. Clicking on the box here, I can move that and position that the center of the sun. Let's return to the head of the clip. So in the tracker, the pixel track area in the center region. And you've also got an outer region which defines the area that the pixel tracker is going to use. So I'm going to go for a small tracked region in the middle with a reasonable sized area to scan for the pixel as the shot moves along. Track forward. And that's not too bad. I'm going to use that path and we're going to attach the lens flare position to that. Right, let's get the lens flare in. Now Blackmagic have provided some library presets to help you get started. If you go to the top toolbar, press the bins button, the bins window is open. In there you find a section templates of all sorts of different templates you can use color templates, design templates, keyers. The one I'm interested in is the lens flare section. I'm going to go with flare 28. I can pick that up 
and drag and drop it to my node composition window and just release that. Let's just minimize the bin window for the moment. So here's the lens flare. What we need to do is to connect the input of the lens flare from our snowboarder and tracker nodes and send the output into the Lightworks node. So I'm just going to disconnect that. Tracker output goes to the input and the output of the flares returns to the node path back to Lightworks. Great. And that's what we're monitoring in the right-hand window. Remember, clicking the right-hand dot brings up the right-hand window. So we've got our nodes. We've got two hotspots in the lens flare. And these glow areas are the hotspots. So clicking on the second node, I can actually pick up and reposition the pair. So the centre of the flare is going to go up on the sun, and as the shot moves along, we're going to see all that lovely optical effect get processed as a lens effect. What I'm going to do is quickly make some adjustments to the flare. There's the hotspot at the top. Just want to make that a bit smaller so that it merges in the composition against the sun a bit nicer. We don't want it concealing his face too much. Okay, well that'll do for the flare. Now we're going to attach the flare positioning here to the track path that we placed on the sun. To do that, right click, choose the node, which is HS7-2, that's this one here. Attach the primary center, connect that to tracker one path position. And that's done. So now as we go through the shot, the lens flare follows that track path. And we get some nice results from that. Now there's one more thing I want to put in, that's the lower third. Back to the template bin, down to lower thirds. I'm going to use this TechFax one here. We'll just drag that into the interface. Let's tidy up the two lens flare nodes into a nice compact node as a group. Select them right click, choose group, and we could rename that as well. Right click on it, rename, we call that flare. So inside a group you can just expand the group, press the button there, and there's our two nodes inside. Just helps to keep things tidy. Let's preview the lower third. I'm just going to pop that up on the left hand monitor and move along the timeline. So we've got alpha channel, and we're going to drop that in over the top of all of this. So we need to merge the output of the lens flare and the background composition, and put the lower third above it in the foreground. There's a merge node to mix multiple inputs together. A quick way to create a merge node is just take the output of one of the mixed nodes and attach it to the output of another one of the mixed nodes. When I release this, this merge node is created in line. We go back and there's our output to Lightworks. So the merge node has a background input and a foreground input. And if I select on that, you've also got all the blend and apply modes in the parameters panel. Let's just juggle along the timeline a little bit. Our lower third needs some repositioning work. I'm going to go to 25% on my composition. Selecting the merge node, I can see and reposition the lower third on screen. It needs to be about there. I'm going to click the corners and just get the size right. Clicking on the arrows and go vertically or horizontally only as well. Now inside this lower third, as we saw earlier, it's also a group. If I expand the group, press control and mouse wheel on the node interface all of these nodes inside here represent the motion and the layers in this lower third. So we don't confuse things, we're going to keep that minimized. OK, I'm happy with the size and the positioning. There's a few things I want to change on the text. If I click on the lower third node, we've got three lines of text that scroll through in this field here. Let's just replace those with our own text. So we're going to have Fusion Tutorials available at Blackmagic Design. OK, well that's it, we're done. Before we go back to Lightworks, we just need to hit the Render button, set the configuration for a final preview, the full frame range, and press Start Render. When 
Render completed, back to Lightworks. I just close up Fusion, save this composition. When you return to Lightworks, the media file rendered by Fusion has been flagged to be re-imported and to be replaced over the current effect region. Hit Yes Replace and the render file goes in. Let's just check that out, make sure everything's all right. And that's all good to be done. If when you return to Lightworks, you don't choose Yes Replace the effect area on your timeline with the render file, you can choose No and reveal the clip, and the rendered clip will be revealed in the Content Manager Recent tab, ready for inclusion in your edit at a later time. And you'll see it's appended Fusion Brackets Rendered. So don't forget that Fusion and Lightworks is a pro feature. Upgrade to the pro license from the Lightworks shop to upgrade your effects to a stunning new level. Further training resources are available on Blackmagic's site blackmagicdesign.com slash products slash fusion slash training. We hope you enjoyed Lightworks and Blackmagic Fusion integration. Thanks for watching.